Hi everyone, how's it going? Tim here and uh, this is yet another stream for the Building Products with JavaScript Electron course. Um, Want to continue our last live stream and you know do the more um, oh we got a VS update do more um, what do you call it the Crunchyroll scraping. So last time we did the um, Oh man, I'm I'm having a hard time thinking because I'm a bit sick, but uh, let's try to do that anyway. Uh, so yeah, last time we uh, did, um, uh, we scraped the Crunchyroll uh, catalog, right? So we did the whole um, popular series at least. So we will continue and tweak it to actually get uh, episodes for the series and then maybe play a video. Let's see if um, I feel fine and you know, if we have enough time for that. So I want to do it for too long um, for because of my health uh, reasons, basically. Right. OK, so um, yarn starts. Let me uh, do that. So what do we have here? Maybe I maybe I will just uh, adjust the UI a bit because this is a bit too condensed. So it might be nice to just take the um, home page and adjust the series component just a tiny bit. So where's our series component? So maybe maybe if we just do it like this, um, it will look slightly better, but I don't know. Um, I'm not not completely sure. So let me format that stuff. And uh, if we reload now, what do we actually get I got slightly less condensed, but more ugly, I would say. <laughs> I think it should be better. Yeah. yeah, I mean, okay, we can work on the uh, visuals a bit later. Okay, so what do we need now? We need to make those clickable, right? Um, so I guess let's just do the card, make the card clickable. So let me think uh, React uh, Router is what I want. And uh, we actually want to um, uh, recruit a DOM. Where, where's the docs? View the docs here. There we go. So what we want to do is we want to navigate to a different page, I guess, maybe create. Yeah, we have this other page. So let's rename it to um, say episodes. No, that sounds like a terrible name for it, like serious. So it's going to be serious page and um, a serious page just like this. And then we have to adjust the index. So it's going to be serious and this is going to be um, ID. Um, OK, so serious and then serious. So this is going to be like this, right? And uh, this is actually props. So how do they pass props now? Let me see. Uh, quick start, blah, blah, blah. Um, props. This doesn't seem to be any any root matching. Uh, so root, uh, render, 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 root props. What do we have here? Username, match, params, user. OK, so it's now match. OK, I see match. It's going to be ma match params ID, right? Basically, this is what we want to see here. And then in series, what is the programmatic method to actually change that? Uh, maybe I change root no. location. Uh, no. OK, uh, history push location. There we go. That's what we want to see. So this is the root. OK. Uh, Da, 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 which means we need this on click here. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say return this. So and we're going to have const open serious page, which will generate this. Um, I guess uh, yeah, we bet that that is wrong. Um, serious, and then this is going to be serious. So I guess let's do it like it. Uh, come on. So serious ID. We had ID last time, right? Uh, this is something that I don't actually remember. We had the URL. We had the title. Um, let me think. 
I guess I guess it would be a good idea to actually extract some sort of IDs. Let's see if they actually have them. So let me save that. And we reload this thing and can make it a bit smaller. Um, that is a ton of stuff. So we got it and type group ID. No, the group ID is probably not what we want. I mean, we can use the URI part as it, but bleh. this, um, yeah, I guess, I guess let's use the href. So basically we had this link URL here, which we construct using base URI, but uh, we can also have um say let's call it link and then this is gonna be link and this is gonna be um that right so we're gonna maybe link is not the best yeah let, let's you know what let's call it id so it's not exactly correct as well but uh it needs some sort of id right and um now that i'm thinking we actually want to have um the uh, source, right? So this is going to be Crunchyroll. So basically, we need some way to distinguish where this series comes from later on, once we have the plugin support and everything. Okay, so series ID, there we go. Uh, we got that. And um, oh, God, there's something completely wrong with that. Um, so history push location. Now, where did I get that history from? Um, Pum, 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 history, prop types, props. Uh, is it always in props? Is that how it works? Come on, history, create browser history, 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 custom history. Yes, 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 I get that part. Do I always, um, okay, I guess it is in props, right? So basically, is History, there we go. Um, format JSX attributes must not empty expression. Uh, right, okay. Open, uh, yeah, there we go. This is what I want to have here, right? There we go. Cool. So, what do you don't like here? I'm missing props validation. Okay, that is fine. Let me refresh. I got that the image is way too large. Okay, um, Generate push of undefined. Okay, so history is not in props. Now, why is it not in props? Uh, will be true. Um, cat. Wait a second, my cat is trying to destroy something. Ah, there we go. <laughs> problem fixed. Um, now let us try. So this is just location. History is mutable. So how do you programmatically? Um, do they have examples here? Packages, DOM, modules, tools, docs. How they, Jesus Christ, the docs for the previous version were definitely like way better than this. It's, Okay, let us see. Um, animation, root config, model, URL parameters, redirects. Maybe we can find it here. Button click, fake oath, yes, history push. There you go. But yeah, it isn't props. With router. So what is this with router? Uh, it's a wrapper that I have to apply. Is that the case? So I have to take this with router from... Um, From React Router, is that the thing? React Router DOM, React Router DOM, yes. And then I wrap my comp. That, that is so. Uh, yeah, that is uh, suboptimal in my opinion, but let's give it a shot. I guess it's required for like to make it work with native DOM and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, React Native and all that kind of stuff. Right, series page undefined. Okay, cool. Um, so it actually works, but what we have is params. Okay, so what we need, I guess the, wait a second, the URI is now, um, da -da -da, let's see, window location URL. No, window, um, what, what was it? href or series undefined. Okay. Um, 
I guess. Oh, wait, I mean, there should be some easy way to navigate to pages, right? Path name state from from path name. It's, uh, come on. Custom link, preventing transitions, no match, recursive path. Sidebar, animated transitions, ambiguous matches. Uh, about user. Mm, okay. Yeah, match params ID. So that seems to be correct. I mean, we, we do see the page, right? So um, let me see. Console log series. Let us um, have a look at this maybe um right that won't work we have to restart that actually because it's going to be refreshed at the same page i think so there we go click on that okay we do have that and there is um where am i is it no wait Oops. Okay. Oh, is it? Wait, is it because? Um, uh, wait a second. Application. Is it basically paste the same stuff over and over again? Is that the case? My doc ID um, attached. Where the where the hell are all the documents? PouchDB episodes. Oh, we don't have any episodes, right? Okay, it should be in series somewhere. By sequence, that's 50. Uh, document store, that's again 50 delete or local sequence. Okay, um, I am a bit, I mean, we can just try to wipe it and re I mean, let's do that. Because in this case, it should, so what we need is, um, we need to rebuild the database, right? Because right now there's the, it contains the old formatted text. Um, why I'm not using WebStorm, I don't like it. It's first of all, slow as hell. And well, I generally don't like Java and um, I'm usingly enough, Atom-based editor is faster than WebStorm. And I actually finding that the, um, Type ahead the, um, what do you call it? Oh God, my, my brain barely thinks. Um, the auto suggestions from the VS code is actually better than the ones from the um, uh, WebStorm. So, you know, and way faster. So, so yes, this is the basic reason why I don't use WebStorm. Plus I have to pay for all the features that are free in VS code. So why the hell would I do that? They are not that great there, so. You know, I will stick with my VS code. Okay, let me think. So basically now the URI is kind of correct-ish. Um, I guess we're gonna go like this. I mean, the ID, so basically that would mean the ID starts with slash, which means we have to clean it first. Now, let's just assume all IDs start with a slash for now. So let me refresh that, uh, but that's going to be broken, right? Because it's now again on the on a wrong URI. Uh, there we go. Okay. Oh, God damn it! I'm misclicking all the time. There we go. Click on, click on that. Cool. Okay. So now we actually have the proper um, ID, so we can kill that. Um, we should be able to get, so that we got the ID here and how do I get this state now? Um, custom links, preventing transitions. Uh, I guess it's something like match state probably or whatever. Recursive path, root config. Uh, wait a second, how the hell do I get state? It's like, hey, you can pass state, but okay, here's the match. Uh, params exact pass URL. No, it's not in a match. Um, state. Location state. It's in location state. Okay, so wow, did I get location again? Was it in the props? Yes, it was in props. Okay, so uh, and location, and then it means that if we return that, 
then I just say console log location state. We should actually see our um, da -da -da, there we go. We should actually see our um, injected um, state, right? Come on, uh, click on that. Cool. We do see our state, which means we can try to actually fetch that URI and try to get the episodes. Um, the only question is, will it actually work without my authorization? I guess we'll have to find out. Or maybe take an anime that doesn't, uh, because the Crunchyroll is a paid service, same as Netflix, but they do provide uh, free access to the older episodes. So basically some of them are paywalled. Uh, this crown thingy means that. And uh, I don't wanna implement um, logging in now, but it seems like we can get some episodes for free. Okay, cool. So, which means that in this case, uh, we need to what? So we need this get episodes for series, right? Okay, uh, let us see. So I'm gonna import here. I guess we should convert that to class as well. Class um, series extends react component so okay um that, that should be expanded into so this is going to be render no render there we go um const equals this props con yeah so what it, 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 um did i ah right okay brackets come on format this stuff there we go okay um blah 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 yeah i know you, you don't like the prop stuff you don't like the class stuff okay constructor um super it's sort of okay this state is gonna be empty for now so we're gonna say um actually episode and uh, come on brain works episode so it's going to be just empty episodes for now and then we say crunchy no that's not here so we need to say component did mount right and once we mount it we actually want to get that state um and uh, so we say crunchy roll get episodes and then pass location state so this is what we want to do uh we don't care about it here and this can be only match for now we can ditch it later right so okay we can kill that um console log getting um episodes for serious right so and now if we refresh that theoretically we should see maybe no okay i guess um yeah because we're using the absolute URIs and it doesn't like unless we have the react um router injected that won't work right it, what what yeah come on hyper what the hell it thing still crashes from time to time, which is annoying. There we go. Okay, yarn uh, start. Let's try that one more time. Click on that. And it doesn't seem to actually do a request why get episodes right so i'm calling the correct thing uh and said yeah i don't care about your context background but a component oh um yeah okay right that explains it you need to do something about that rooting and reloads of the page um can we actually use the wait a second so we're now using this browser router right which i think is default to um, absolute routing so we can use the hash router which should probably solve our problem let's do that 
so why we don't need that link here right and then which means that here in let me think where did i do that in 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 no in series we need to change that path name to no location um yeah okay let that first let's uh restart it and see how the the URIs look, but we basically we want to get the base URI, right? So, you know, location. Um, so yeah, now we have the hash based routing. So we want the path name, um, location path name, right? And then if we do that, let me reload. If I click this one, nothing happens cannot push the same path okay um what the hell location uh, let us see what actually how the location looks i mean can i just push it without the path name would that work um i guess this yeah is gonna let's restart it again let's see um there we go. Okay, cool. So I can just do that. But I, I assume a window location a location. A, a, come on. There we go. Yeah, okay. So it uses hash it autom Okay, so we can just do as we did and it will automatically use the correct path. Cool. That simplifies a lot. And I think we should be able to refresh that now and we will see exactly the same page exactly. Okay, we lose the state which is expected but it is fine i think so um can go um what was it no how, well, um, i forgot how you do that so i'm just gonna kill it and, and redo okay but we got we got to this place so we got that part right so we what we want to do is we actually want to um, uh, load the episodes And in this case, but that's not what I wanted to do. So we don't need base URI because we actually have the full URI from Sirius. Uh, we can load that uh, and this should be a sync as well. And uh, then we want to load that data into the Cheerio, right? Because we just want to parse it. And uh, the only question is, does it, maybe they are using the same asynchronous loading as with um, catalog. So we can actually uh, get off easily without like loading the whole thing. So if I click on that, what are we gonna see here? Uh, in network requests, we got a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, document style sheet, script, JPEG, standard HR requests. Okay, so some sprites. Bleh. So some very, what? Uh, that seems to be an extension, is it? I think it just froze my... What the... Um, hello, Chrome? Can you please unfreeze? Uh, okay, something just killed my um, extensions. Uh, developer tools, sorry. Yeah, there you go. Thank you very much. Right, okay. So let's try that again. Reload the page. Uh, let me kill that off. So this is Chrome extension. Oh, emoji one surprise. Okay. So why does it just kill the? Um, what the hell is this? Is some Google API stuff? Facebook? No. Okay. So it seems like they don't really load anything asynchronously in this case. So I'm. Uh, no, let's not open that. There we go. This is the main page. Um, this is what we want to load. All right, so we're going to load that part, which means that we need to look at how the episodes look here. There you go. So this is the portrait grid is what we're interested in. Once again, just want to stress it that, you know, uh, doing stuff like this doesn't mean that it's going to work in the long term or rather that it's going to be quite expensive in terms of maintenance because every time they uh, change uh the layout and they change their markup the parser will obviously break so it's kind of 
it's better to use API if they have it. Container, um, can take container, there we go. Um, so we wanted this UL portrait grid, right? Episodes is gonna be um, over bubble group I, yeah. So we're gonna pick the group items again from that episodes container. And uh, let's do the same thing. So we're gonna map index element. Uh, then we're gonna get, again, just transform it to array. In this case, element, uh, so let's do the same and just transform it to the, um, um, da -da -da, let me think, edit it HTML, copy that, paste it over here. Uh, syntax, now this, come on. Um, uh, HTML, there we go. For beautify. Okay, so we got that part. Um, now what we need to pick up from here is this episode a dot episode, right? So attribute uh, href, this is going to be URL. Uh, but we actually yeah, so this is going to be ID again. Then URL is going to be our uh, base did we where is it base URL uh, and then it's going to be um, ID right so this is our URL um, what else can we get we can get the image which is only one image luckily so image is gonna be uh, image attribute source right we got that part uh, we need Okay, we can get progress here, but we can leave it out for now and maybe work with it later because not all websites provide that. So let's just skip it. We can get series title. That's always good. Wait, is it series title? No, this is the episode title, right? Uh, which means that we get series title um, text and description which is short description and we get again text and let's just trim it for the sake of it i guess this good idea to trim stuff here as well okay and then we return uh the whole thing so id url image title description format this stuff okay um yeah right element we do need to search all of those things within our elements that is one point i forgot um yeah i think that should work um so let's see console log episodes and then return episodes and then we are going to save them into the episodes um, database but first let's make sure that it actually works so where's my hyper start the thingy okay here is our um stuff right it seems to be actually working so 504 episodes is that aligned with what they have here so they have 500 episodes but i assume they also have some sort of movies or whatever it seems so so we actually got all that we need and now we need to render that stuff on screen um i guess we can just okay first of all save it into the episodes uh, again do the bulk doc thing episodes okay store in the db right so we just do that uh, which means that here in um, so we need, we can just copy this part and put it into series because this is exactly what we want to do here and uh, I guess we can just do do it this way um, I think wait a second 
React class. Uh, I think the props are getting in in a constructor. Um, da -da -da, blah, blah, blah. Wait, where's the constructor? No, what? Wait a second. Uh, React without React without JSX. No, that's not what I want. React component. Yes, constructor. Yes, is what I want to see. Yeah, you get props as um. So I want to do that, and then in this case, this is gonna be destruct props, and then trigger episodes uh, loading. So we do need observable here. So I'm gonna copy that part. Um, ta -da -da, DB series, and we need a DB here as well. So it's gonna get our packages here. Um, yeah, let's actually rearrange that a bit. Whoops. So npm packages. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. Uh, in this case, we want episodes live include drugs change, not deleted. We need the doc itself. We can get it to array say it's episodes and we put it into the state right now we take those episodes over here and uh, i mean i guess you can just copy that bit as well because it's it's like it's basically similar we just need to render it using a different component right so uh yeah we need lodash as well because we are gonna chunk it uh, nope there you go. So episodes is chunk it to four chunks because why not? Um, and then it should be episodes key. Um, yes, um, episodes as uh, yeah. Let's call it app app ID and the episode is going to be app right. Okay. So what we need now is to import that episode thing. Um, let's copy that part import episodes from episode there we go um now episode and uh because i am lazy i'm just gonna do that index.js paste it here so this is gonna be episode and then history do we need a history yes we do because we're gonna navigate to episode later on so we're gonna do Episode ID, right? Okay, we're gonna do that. Card, um, rename that. Open episode page. Uh, ta -da 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 -da. Episode image. Episode title. Um, episode title. Video count. We don't. Uh, this basically. No, wait, wait, wait. Episode uh, description, right? This is what we have. We have title, image, description. Uh, I don't need you anymore. I don't need you anymore. No, I don't need you anymore. Um, I don't need you. Uh, okay, you can close that. Okay, let's see. URL, image, title, description. Okay, that seems to be fine. So, theoretically, if we now restart the app, we should see actually episodes for the uh, whatever anime I click. So let's click on the Berserk. There should be 17 of those. Um, the images seem to be what? Something, wait, what? Oh, we were, what the? Okay then, uh, did I subscribe on something? The episodes change, okay. Slightly confused here. Let's um, see what the hell's going on console log episodes, right? So let's just have a look at what the hell's going on here because that definitely doesn't look correct. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just wipe the whole database to make sure that we're we're actually now reinserting the data every time I load the page, which is a bit iffy, but we're going to fix it later on. Okay, so let's go for Berserk again, for example. Cool, so we have those um, episodes here. So is it um, 15, 14, 13? So this 12, for example, doesn't have image, really? 
Is that the case here? Or am I just scraping the wrong? Or maybe it's just not loaded. Is that oh, okay? I see. So basically, if the episodes are collapsed, I guess they're gonna have a different formatting. Is that the case? Yeah, okay, so the collapsed episodes don't really have... No, they do have image. Okay, what the hell? Or is it... Wait a second, maybe it, they are not... The next question is, where the hell do I have different animes here? What is going on? Okay, um, let me think. So we need to look at the way the data looks, right? Because it looks like the collapsed episodes either have a different formatting or they are not automatically loaded whenever we uh, request a page. Okay. Yeah, we have a bunch of repeating stuff here. So, okay, um, let us have a look here. So we have the first three episodes that are full view you know what, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna copy the whole thing here and paste it here. So we're gonna can just take HTML, set the formatting to HTML and read it in a nice comfortable way. Okay, uh, what was it, group? Um, yeah, let's, let's just go to ep episode. Episode 15, okay, there we go, 15, 14, 13. And there's our episode 12. So and there's our episode 12 and a half to us 12. There is 11. So what's the problem with it? it? Has a group item here, so it should be selected, right? Then it has the A, which is uh, episode. So it, it has, the, so the title is actually, wait, wait, where is my, uh, the title is selected correctly, right? So we see that episode 12, we see the description. Problem is image. Oh, because it doesn't have source, it has this data thumbnail thing. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say, um, okay, I guess um, we don't need to select to run the selector twice, right? So const image uh, container, which is gonna run it once. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a very long name. Let's just go for image e either image attribute, um, what was it? Data thumbnail URL, there we go. Okay, now we should actually see all the, um, all the things working, right? So let's restart that. Should really stop writing to database every time where we run the queries. Um, Berserk. No, still broken somehow. Okay, let's see. 13, uh, description untitled. That's a bit weird. Why are you not selecting that? Okay, um, let us see. Okay, console log. Uh, image. This is no, this is going to be the inner HTML, right? Parent HTML. Let's just do that. And then we are going to see image attribute source, image attribute data thumbnail URL. Uh, and we're gonna see image. There we go. Let's restart that and uh, try to have a look here. Cats, can you please stop destroying the stuff? Okay. Uh, oh, it actually selects, wait, is there? Oh, it selects those four as well because they are also, damn it, cat, stop it. Okay, um, so first we have to figure out, right, okay, let me see. Um, image, source, yeah, okay, image, wait, it doesn't select images at all, what the hell? Yeah, but I mean, that, that seems to be the correct, right? So because it selects this data thumbnail, no, wait a second, this doesn't look correct. Okay, this undefined, undefined, undefined. Image, landscape, data, thumbnail. Ah, now it's lower. Oh, seriously? 
here it's all lowercase so that should work right i think click on berserk and no that's still screwed up okay then episode three i mean okay the, here's the image is it am i missing something copy uh copy link address let's see is that the correct image yeah that is the correct cat oh come on cats are always a bit of a pain in ass okay first let us filter out those things do they have over class why is it being selected group item okay so it's it is no it's a portrait grid wait is there two portrait grids we select this ul class list of c no list of seasons is also a different thing so which one wait what's our parent thingy here is portrait grid okay and we only want the first one actually right first what if i do that so in theory that should only return episodes now uh it, it, oh, come on okay let's wipe it i really need to fix that um wipe it restart it Now it only gives me the first three episodes. Okay, because they are in separate. Is that how it works? Um, review. So this is the main content. This is list of seasons. Okay, I guess we need to first select this list of seasons thing. So I guess it's gonna be something among those lines. Like we want a descendants of list of C uh, that should be a class, right? I guess like this. So one descendants of list of seasons and only them. And we need to wipe it again. Because otherwise we're going to get bonkers. Um, there we go. Now it works. Uh, I guess this is, a, yeah, this is a preview episode, right? So if I expand that. Yeah, we're gonna see a preview episode here. Cool. Now we're gonna that working. Um, what do I wanna do? I wanna do anything? No, don't really. Okay, that looks fine, right? So what we need is we need a way back. So first of all, let's commit that. Um, this did, there we go. So odd way to fetch episodes for a specific show and now the app uh, that is a bit too many console logs we're gonna ditch that away um do i wanna you know i'm in i'm too lazy to do amend uh let's just do remove ex excessive um logging so what I also wanna do Yeah, the, I mean, that's the thing. That's why I just, so the question in the chat is why when you press control R in the old version, so you reload the page, you will see the blank page because in the previous, like before my few changes that I did like two seconds ago, uh, when I switched from the browser router to hash router, so browser router uses absolute URIs. And since we're using the file system there, you are gonna get the URIs that look like uh, file, triple slash, and then, you know, whatever, like series, um, blah, 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 right? And if you try to load, reload that page, you actually won't see anything because this URI doesn't exist. So that's the problem. And this is why I switched to hash router because if we use hash router, it's gonna be always index HTML and then hash and then the root. So now you can actually, once I push the changes, you will be able to just reload it and see the changes immediately, which is uh, nice. Okay, um, what I'm thinking is, um, 
I am just gonna be to do remove me once um, db persistence is fixed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a series um, not destroy, I wanna remove all. Okay, let's see, PouchDB, I need to clean it. Basically, I just wanna clean the database on, on every launch for now, because I'm too lazy to uh, think of how to properly do that for now, because we just we just want a proof of concept right at first, and then we can, um, we can actually do clean, view clean up, view clean up. So this is the views, this is not what I want, maybe destroy. So and destroyed, created, delete a database. Okay, yeah, let's I guess I guess let's try to destroy them and um, so theoretically now if I, uh, that is wrong. Uh, come on, that's my yarn stone. So theoretically now I should be always a blank state. Yeah, there we go. So this yeah, good. Okay. Now we have that, right? Nope, we don't. Uh, database is destroyed. Okay, I guess. Mm, how do I do that? I mean, <laughs> oh man, um, where's the index? Maybe, 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 maybe. No, we can't really do that here. Is there put remove can I just remove everything so I mean we're coming into the home every time right so I can what I can do is I can say that we have an async init function that will uh, await series remove and I just like I assume that will remove all the um, all the entries right let me see so um, remove doc this doc is required to be at least an ID and a revision property uh, not very nice so how can I actually drop the database but not like completely so a way to clean a database yeah the view cleanup is I know this is not what I want drop remove um, um, pouch DB delete all entries like how why you don't put that in your documents I mean come on all dogs then uh, seriously you want me to map remove to and that seems to be the only way really okay then and there is PowerDB erase plugin for that Ugh, that looks ugly as hell i mean okay i guess let's go for mapping over right okay so um right so we get now that's that's a bit a bit too much so okay const s all series db um series all docs so we await that now nah, that man it feels so hacky it's I, I don't know i feel like it's better to just like properly fix it <laughs> so, so it sounds like it's going to be easier and more better than this crap Okay, um, yeah, so like, all right, what do we actually need to do? We need to um, crunchy roll. So here we do this bulk insert, but we actually need to make it um, insert only the, uh, the titles that are not already in a database. So to do that, we basically need to say that the database should consider titles with the same URIs and same IDs to be the same, right? 
Let's see. Um, schema. No, they, of course they don't write about schema in the API guides. Why, why would you write about that in a, in a database documentation? Um, yeah, come on. Working with documents. Primary index. Uh, no, primary key. Um, storing the document ID. So we have to give it an underscore ID. Can I just say that I have a different index? Um, pouch DB custom index. Is that a thing? Secondary indexes. Query emit, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is views. This is not index. Doesn't really seem so. Right, okay. I guess that means we would have to do underscore ID, which is not very nice, I guess. Um, or switch the database. Okay, you know what? Let, let's see what other databases. Okay, um, awesome L electron. Let's see what other databases are there for the electron, for example. DB level, DB MongoDB, uh, just like, no, that's not what I want. So there's this, yeah, there's the NADB thing, which is embedded database. Uh, persistence, yeah, I mean, you can save it to file, I know that, insert. Basic query, okay, I guess that's, that's, that's just do the underscore ID thing. Um, which means we have to change it actually everywhere. So got that and it's going to complain about dangle underscore. Okay. And then we're going to find dot ID and, and all files. And we're going to change that here and here. And theoretically now it should only do um, all the addition ones, right? Because it is going to match them by IDs. At least that's what I expect it to do. Okay, clean everything. Reload uh, index DB. No, really? Okay, let me restart that. Okay, serious, there we go. Okay, there's our IDs and uh, 40 titles. So if I reload that now, theoretically it should stay at 40 and don't move anywhere, right? Okay, ref, yep, that seems to be working. So we got that stuff. Okay, cool. So now uh, let's go back here. Um, let's commit this change. Uh, web diff, uh, ton, ton, ton. Okay, um, use underscore ID as field name uh, for items in DBs to uh, make them unique. That's what we want. And uh, now let us create a back button here. So let's see, we are using Bulma, right? Um, okay, we don't need all of that bollocks. Uh, let's go to Bulma.io and have a look at the um, elements. So we need a nav bar, maybe components. Yes, nav, there we go. That's what we want. So nav class nav. Uh, yeah. Class name in this case, uh, slash nav. And then in this case, I would say just the back button should be sufficient. So um, is there an example with a back button somewhere already? No, not really. Okay, so there's this, I guess we can just take that part, but we don't need it to be center. Um, okay, uh, first of all, class to class name. Second of all, 
um, nav left, I think it was, yeah. Item icon, okay, let's go to font awesome. And um, we need a back. Uh, where do they have search here? I forgot icons. Yes, all icons. There we go. Back. Um, arrow backward, arrow left. Yeah, that looks fine. So we're gonna do that. Back and save. And if we re, all uh, oh right, I stopped it. Uh, boom, 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 boom. come on yarn start so now we should have a nav bar with arrow back right yeah that doesn't look very nice actually but uh, let's see is there do they have a buttons here so it should be a nav ah, okay I see um, nav item nav menu okay no no nav left nav uh, menu Nav item a a uh, a class button yes this is what I want a class button then we got span icon with this icon thingy span and uh, uh, right class name okay uh, and now if I refresh the page. Uh, kinda almost. Uh, can read property URL, find you fine. Um, wait, what am I missing? Uh, I Twitter. Ah, it's also should be in span. Okay. Span back. Span. Now it should look nice, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. But, uh, right, React Router. Um, have a look how do you uh, god damn it uh, no that's not what I want I want the docs back no of course there's no back uh, mentions so I guess it's gonna be link mm -hmm means we would have to import link from react router right and then say that okay we don't actually need that anymore uh, and we have to adjust this later because right now we will show all the episodes that are in the database which is not something we actually want but whatever we can do it later um, right, so what I was doing, I was doing a link thing here uh, with link. There we go. To, um, okay, can we just this to root, right? So we can just navigate to home, yes. And uh, theoretically that should be working. So let's have a look. Yeah, there you go. That works. Cool. So we actually got uh, basic navigation down. A cannot appear as a descendant of A. A link A. Well, I don't have. Oh. Um. Wait. Do I actually need that nav item thing here? Format. Uh, wait a second. Wait. I closed Bulma already. No. Um, elements. Uh, nav bar. No. Components. Nav bar. Right. So where's the button thing here? Control. So nav item and then field this group. So this is the group buttons. So it's just like P control. Okay. So I, I do have. I need the nav item anyway. Div class name um, nav item, and then we can have this bit. save format. There we go. Okay, good. Back reload. Berserk. Cool. 
thing that is sufficient. So um, okay, git commit add back button to series um, and no to episodes list right and now we actually want to have um clickable episodes whoops what did i just close i closed my twitch chat no no, no that won't work come back okay so meanwhile it's loading we want to have um another page which is actually episode page so i'm just gonna copy all of that stuff and uh, episode js so and this is the most interesting part is we're gonna get um i don't think we're gonna need i uh, know we do we do need link here right uh so episode it's gonna be now for now trigger episode loading okay i'm just gonna command this for now we don't need that stuff here yet. And uh, for now, we're just gonna do episode video here. So we're gonna do that. Uh, we don't need database, I think. This is, okay, I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. And uh, the thing is that we need to add it over here episode from pages episode so this is gonna be episode episode id gonna match to episode and in this case in series uh, we need to okay this is gonna be the components right so yeah we're gonna have open episode page okay so i already have everything prepared here yeah exactly episode id so theoretically should already work um let us test that oh, okay i closed tweet chat again so if you're writing something at that moment i might not see it Right, there we go, cool. Um, right, let's click this. Uh, this seems to be working just fine now. What we need to do here is, uh, okay, we need to get, uh, get episode, right? So this is what we're interested in, console log loading episodes. <laughs> get episode location stay yes okay good that looks fine and now the interesting bit is let's restart that so the interesting thing is going to be basically how do we actually um load that episode because as far as i know Crunchyroll uses the Flash Player and they use the um, sort of um, split streaming from a from bunch of smaller bits and pieces. So if we open something like this, yeah, so this we will complain that I don't have a Flash Player, um, which I guess it might be a time to start looking at the youtube dl script right so we have this youtube dl script which are able to download and stream uh, videos from a variety of sources including Crunchyroll, youtube and, and all that kind of stuff uh, i think it's written in python um but wait a second is there an actually or no, maybe there's a version for Node.js already. So let's have a look. Node YouTube DL, uh, YouTube DL, Node.js app, Node uh, core server. Okay, let's have a look here. 
Uh, YouTube DL driver for Node. Download videos from uh, YouTube and Node.js using YouTube DL. So let's have a look at the source code and see how exactly it works. Uh, exactly in the same way you would expect. So they just do the, um, they just call the YouTube DL, right? I mean, we can do that ourselves. We don't need the separate modules for that. It seems a decent amount of work here, but mm, not sure if we need that. Um, okay, this is pretty much the same, either a fork or just another version of it. We got that. I mean, YouTube DL is cross-platform, so we might as well just go with it and say that this is, uh, or maybe bundle it with um, with a thing. Okay, this is just YouTube downloader. This is boring. This is also just YouTube downloader, which is boring. Uh, no, just based front end for YouTube GL. Yeah. Okay. So how do you do that? You are. IO sockets, blah, 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 download file, socket emit, download from YouTube, download generic. Yeah, okay, so they also use spawn here for, um, I, I imagine this was for the downloading and they use spawn for YouTube DL as well. Right, so I guess we are gonna roll with the same um, thing. So, okay, we got the URL here. Now let's see, um, I do have uh, um, I do have YouTube DL installed, I believe. Yeah, there we go. So uh, wait a second. Let us just try to do it manually first. Uh, say Berserk again, and then this one. So we get this URL and uh, YouTube DL. Um, right, so are you options URL? Okay, so if I just say that, we should get because it's gonna download all of them. Yeah, it's gonna take okay. I don't want to uh, clog my channel for now, but RAM, so it's gonna, yeah, it basically downloads and codes it in parts as you imagine. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna call um, uh, first of all, we need a temp folder. So temp folder for videos, right? So this is gonna be, I guess maybe not temp, it's just folder for videos, uh, target folder. And for that, we would need electron JS, um, there was some method to get the user folder instead. I didn't know the Electron API sounds like a good place to start. Um, let me think, environment variables, file object. Uh, maybe let's just Google that. Electron just user folder. So how to store data in Electron. That sounds like a good place to start. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, electron app remote app gets there we go so this is the user data path um, electron is the package that we need to require yes yes there we go just gonna use imports here right um, I don't think we need a remote app here maybe and then it's gonna be pass join, yeah. Okay, import path a bit path from path, and it's gonna be um, Crunchyroll. So we're gonna just make a Crunchyroll folder, and in this case, we are gonna. Um, okay, Node.js spawn. I guess we're just gonna use spawn as well because why the hell not? So let's see, child process or yeah, I guess spawn would be better, right? Because it's gonna be detached. Import spawn from child uh, process. 
right? And uh, I was gonna have a look at that. So we're gonna spawn YouTube DL. So again, assuming um, we actually have YouTube DL installed, episode URL. And uh, how do we pass in config location, uh, ignore, um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Geo restriction, proxy, playlist start, playlist end, match filter, so path, Config path, no FFmpeg path. Um, mm -hmm. So the cookies, uh, there's no way to set the path. I guess we can pipe it, but uh, I don't really wanna do that. Um, I guess we can just do CD into the data folder and then execute. No, but that will be not very nice, okay. So if I call it, it should be called from the um, app folder, right? If I, okay, I'm now curious. Let's have a look at the docs. So spawn, uh, no, this history is not something I want to comment around. Chill spawn method spawns a new process using giving command with the command line arguments. Uh, shell option is named it, do not pass and sanitize, blah, blah, blah. Use CVD, ah, there we go. So we can we can pass in a CVD. Where exactly do we pass it in? And then do options. So we can say, yes, execute this command in the um, target folder, right? Okay, and uh, uh, std out on close. So we have to listen for the std out and std error const dl, let's do it this way. Okay, and then this is dl. Um, grab, what is grab? Oh, they are, oh, you can actually, that is very interesting. So you can basically pipe things. Log um, YouTube dl data. That is too many A's and uh, DL error. Uh, I don't think we need that. We can just go with this format, right? Um, format that stuff. Okay. Now let's see if that. So basically, that would mean that the in current version, the app won't actually work in in systems that don't have YouTube DL and FF FFmpeg installed but we can see it solving that later on. So if I do that now, um, uncaught spawn YouTube DL UI and well, what does it mean? Uh, window require extra unpacking on some APIs, wait a second. But I mean, I'm just calling spawn exec file. Yeah, this is calling the file. I mean, it should be in my path, right? Or, I mean, okay, we can we can try to do the, maybe it's not in the path, but it should actually be, let's try that. So, I mean, ideally we would want to bundle, um, wait, you, what, what does this error mean? No such file or directory. Oh, I guess uh, that throws because there is no target folder, right? So what we want to do is actually create that folder, um, file system, uh, do, 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 exists, uh, I think exists is deprecated. Yeah, there is the access. So we can, I mean, I guess in this case we can just do sync because it doesn't really matter. Um, it's just a folder check if, uh, what does it actually return? It returns 
either error or so we need to try catch it right let me try catch error and if s um what was it make folder um make dear seeing yeah there you go so we can do that target folder i think that at least for the starters that should be sufficient um what are you what are you complaining here about electron yeah sort of that is not something i'm interested in um i mean don't push so the question in the chat is the hash rotor complains that you push the same um if you push the same um, path it will complain about it so the solution is obvious don't push the same path like i don't, I don't know what to tell you like why do you want to push the same path to to the uh router, basically uh okay it does download the stuff but the uh data seems to be byte encoded yeah it's a u int array so let's interrupt that um so i guess we need to call to string and if i so basically we need to be with what is the what is the folder actually i'm like i've created a folder but what is it console log let's just type it using um target folder there you go just to see uh yes yarn start please thank you very much okay uh library application support okay that is uh, library application support uh, bpgs crunchyroll right so there we go yeah okay we can kill that and let's try that again okay there we go so now it actually works and uh, yeah I guess this is that where std here why 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 is there what 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 wait a second but it downloads why is there an error output to string um yeah let's try that again okay uh one more time web page media yes yes there we go so why does it why is it in wait it outputs that in std error instead of the, what okay uh i'm not sure about the size and uh like we got the the basic uh saving working right so this will just download the file i guess this this is gonna take quite some time so i'm not gonna do that now what's we are interested in is actually in streaming that file and i think i should be able to ditch that part now uh, if not here here right yeah there we go so what we're interested in is not saving it to file which i mean we do want to have that functionality as well but what we want to do is to stream it to uh, some output like maybe std out or whatever then catch the bytes that are streamed there and then pipe it into the video tag right in the page right because this is what we're, we're interested in streaming foremost because like saving for offline playback is cool but we can do that later right uh let me stop that but i guess um we can leave that out to the next live stream so i'll i'll leave it at that uh we have the episodes view which is the very basic um let me see what we actually coded here we i mean not not that much so let me add it git commit um so start working on streaming episodes I'm gonna push that and uh, let's just stop the stream here for now because my throat is starting to hurt already. <laughs> I mean, as I've been saying at the beginning, I don't feel particularly well lately. So uh, let's just, 
let's just end it here and uh you know if i feel better within the next few days we're gonna have another stream where i will um actually finish whatever we have started here and actually make it work and live stream the uh video right into the electron jazz so yeah thank you for staying with me and i see you around next time bye